YouTube, what's going on? It's Sans here. Got some quick tips for you. Um, but first off, we're going to kick it off with this. This is just showing you how accurate the tack inserts are. If you guys have seen my other video that I did on the Revolution map pack, you saw some of the locations. But right there, it actually gives us uh, a couple of cross streets on uh, Aftermath. And those cross streets are Figueroa and Flower Street. So I figured, hey, toss it down right here real quick and see actually how accurate it really is. So as you can see, I'm zooming in here and uh, it brings us to the corner of Figueroa and Flower Street. So, you know, this is one of those Easter egg type things that I really love about, uh, about Call of Duty. Uh, and as you can see, scrolling up a little bit right above State Drive, there's an airplane flying in. Uh, so that was kind of, kind of fun as well. So I figured I'd open it up with that and, uh, and share it with you guys. All right, so this next tip is more of like the ultimate grenade spot on Hijack. And this works especially well uh, for hard points. Now, just to let you guys know this is uh, combat training, so I had bots here to stand in for real people just so that I can make sure I can get the footage and demonstrate to you guys. So the first hard point opens up right there in the middle, but if you come down here into the boiler room, there's a little vent, and that vent actually leads upstairs. So in that instance right there, all it did was destroy a bouncing Betty, uh, but you know, it's definitely possible to get some kills. So again, there's the vent right there if you want to drop a nade down below when the hard point, when the hard point is below you. So now this is, uh, again, the hard, the hard point is moved, and this is towards the end of the game. Threw it back up there, was able to get a double kill. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys from the top view what it actually looks like. And you can see right here, there's a lot of potential uh, for you guys, if, you, if you're carrying multiple frags or whatever, to really throw them there if you're playing capture the flag or something else. All right, so this next part of the video comes from the Lord Time, who's been uh, pretty active here on, uh, on my YouTube channel with, with providing ideas and, and giving comments and all sorts of other good stuff. And his suggestion was drop down a shock charge in conjunction with a bouncing Betty. And now some of you may already do this. Uh, for me, I don't really uh, play with uh, the shock charges too much, but it's a great idea. It works wonderfully. I mean, I ran it for a couple of maps and it works pretty much flawlessly. As you can see right there, uh, I was playing hardcore so it killed my teammate as well. Uh, not sure if that's exactly what I was intending, but uh, but hey, it worked out with the kill. So right here, throwing down some C4 just to make sure that, that I was able to, to duplicate my efforts and ended up throwing the shock charge on the roof. Tip for that, definitely throw your shock charges uh, in areas like that because people don't tend to, don't tend to really notice them uh, when they're on the roofs or in kind of uh, odd places. So uh, right here, waiting for those shock charges to go off. Was hoping to pick up an assault rifle or SMG and somehow ended up with a sniper rifle, which is another weapon I didn't really want because I was running with a shotgun. So a shotgun and a sniper rifle as a backup uh, are not ideal weapons in hardcore, but, but hey, that's how it worked out. So uh, so right here, had a guy, had a feeling someone was going to come creeping in, and there he was. Was able to get him, and then all of a sudden the shock charges just started going off. So lit up that C4, was able to get the kill with it. So uh, from that outside view or from that third person view, this is what it looks like. I thought the guy was going to come from that hallway, but he just ran right into it right there. Right, I, I don't know what he was thinking, but was able to get the kill. Uh, dude was like Rambo or something trying to roll through that. All right, you guys, this last part of the video right here is more of a challenge for you guys. So uh, some of you may or may not know, especially those of you, I guess, on PS3 that, that probably haven't played this map yet. If you throw an explosive, such as C4, onto the side of the, of the little gondola uh, ski lifts, it al it'll actually go around until uh, until you die or else until it actually detonates. Um, so, so my challenge is, I want to see someone actually throw it on the side of the gondola, have it go all the way around, uh, and, then, and then get a kill with it. So right here, I'm speeding it up considerably. Obviously, if you throw it on this side, it's going to go a little bit faster. So... This is the challenge that I'm offering. Uh, I'm not sure what to do in the way of a, of a reward. Obviously, I'll give you a shout out, upload the footage here to YouTube, uh, maybe do something else. I'm not sure. So, uh, so if you guys can think of a, a reasonable, you know, reward or, or maybe something that you guys would like to see, uh, you know, drop some ideas in the comments. But I would love to see any of you complete this challenge in game because it is going to be a difficult one. So on that note, I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this video helps you out. Go ahead and uh, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and a comment. Appreciate it.